Hey y'all, thanks for clicking on today's video. Today I'm going to show you how to make two types of holiday bark using three ingredients that you already have in your pantry. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Alright, so these are the ingredients that you're going to be needing. Very simple, just three ingredients. I have some chopped up cranberries right here. Also some pistachios, these were shelled and they were lightly salted, so I de-shelled them and then I just chopped them up as you can see. And then I do have some white chocolate. If you prefer like dark chocolate or just milk chocolate, you can use it too, but I think I'm gonna go the white chocolate route. It just is gonna taste 10 times better in my opinion. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so I'm gonna make it very simple. I have this chocolate warmer that I used to make a lot of like cake balls and stuff like that. So I invested in one of these, which is the best way of melting chocolate. So I have some chocolate melting in here and this is like about six ounces. I'll leave a recipe link down for you guys. I'm just kind of eyeballing everything like I normally do. And if you want it to be quicker, what you can do is just melt everything in the microwave. So this is where I'm at so far and I want it to be a little bit more melted. Okay, so all I did was just grab cookie sheets to, and I just put some wax paper on it. You can use parchment paper or you can just use the pan itself. I think if you just spray it, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't suggest that. I highly suggest putting something down. I'm just going to use wax paper. I think parchment paper might be better for this recipe, but I am completely out. I've been doing a lot of baking. Yay me for remembering to purchase some. Hi. Okay, so I'm sorry I'm slouching down like this, but I'm too lazy to move the camera. Oh, this is a good thumbnail shot. I need the, the bark there. Anyways, I I only had like half a bag of the white chocolate chips and I thought I had more. Um, there goes my, I don't know, my brain has been on, I don't know where it's been to be quite honest with you. Anywho, um, so I'm only using about six ounces of white chocolate. I probably would suggest using more. I'll find a good recipe for you guys. I don't measure when I bake or cook. Well, depends what I'm baking, but for the most part, I don't measure. I kind of just eyeball everything because a lot of recipes are, you know, for like families of four and up or something. And I only cook for two because I have a hard time eating leftovers or so does my husband. We, we don't really like to and I think it's just a waste of food. Therefore, I always down like downsize my recipes so that you know it's just enough for my husband and I. I assumed that I had gotten some white chocolate chips but I did make some chocolate chip cookies for Christmas because those are like the favorites and I took some to my aunt and uncle and my cousin and yeah so I don't have any more you guys so I think what I'll do is I will just make some white chocolate chip bark and then I'll make some dark or I think I don't have dark chocolate chip I have like just regular like chocolate chip so I'll make two so you'll get to see two kinds of it today so just in case you don't want to do the white you can do the dark okay so my chocolate is ready so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some pistachios inside here I'm going to reserve some for the top so that's my reserve I'm also going to do the same for the cranberries. If you guys wanted to, you could like, before you put your fixings in, which you can do is like zest and orange and it'd be so good also. If your pistachios don't have any like salt or anything like that um, and you're using what you have in your pantry, just add a little bit of salt if you like the sweet and salty as I do. You know, you can really put anything in there. If you wanna make it more like with more protein you can add any type of nut you have like macadamia i've tasted it with macadamia it tastes delicious some pumpkin seeds as just as good as well you 
spread it out evenly. You're just gonna let it cool down. You can stick this in the refrigerator. You can stick it in the freezer. I'm just gonna let mine cool down at room temperature and then we'll be back to cut it up. This is completely cooled down at room temperature. And so all I'm going to do is just make some random cuts. What you can do too, if you don't want to use a knife, you can just break it. And then you make them as large as you like or as small as you like. did some with the dark chocolate with the leftover um, pistachio and cranberries that I have. And all I did was put some orange zest in it because I love chocolate and orange together. And then I just put a little bit of some walnuts on top of there. So I'm letting this cool down and I'll show you everything together. Okay, you guys, so my chocolate bark has finally cooled down and I went ahead and, cu and cut it up. My words are just getting so twisted right now, so please excuse me. And all I did was just put it on the board just, you know, so that it stays out. And, you know, this is a really good, cute, like, charcuterie board. I said it. I said it. Thank you so much, Laura Barnes, if you're watching, girl. Shout out to you for helping me pronounce that word because I was going crazy trying to pronounce it. My Spanglish <laughs> wanted to come out and I was like just slaughtering the word. So thank you so much for helping me out with that. Anyhow, um, yeah, you can just make a little charcuterie board like so, you know, a dessert, dessert. There I go again. <laughs> a dessert one or maybe something with cheeses and then have some, you know, something sweet on the side. You know, just a little bit of mixture of everything. I have some garnish here. You can use rosemary, thyme, whatever other spices that you may have at hand. But I cut some oranges up just because I'm going to show you how to make a mocktail. But before we get to that, I wanted to show you these little boxes. These are really cute boxes that you can give your bark out for like a gift or something. Like say someone sends you a gift unexpectedly and you don't have anything, you know, you can just whip some of this up really quick and you just send it off in one of these cute little boxes or hand it to them. I pick these boxes up at Walmart. They come in like a package of five. They're really inexpensive and they're so convenient. And all I would do is put maybe put some like tissue paper or some wax paper, parchment paper in there. And then I'll put my bark in there. So when I open it up, it's like a little gift. You can place a little ribbon around it, you know, with their tag on who you want to give to. Something really simple. Let's go ahead and make our mocktail. So I have a champagne glass here. I have my favorite Trader Joe's cranberry and ginger beverage and then I have some ginger ale right here and then I'm going to garnish it with my slices of orange. I'm using the recipe that the box gave but without the rosemary. I really wish I had rosemary maybe some like fresh cranberries just to garnish it some more and to look a little bit more festive but I don't have any of that so I'm just going to improvise with what I have available. So I'm just going to start off with the the cranberry, I don't know why I, I have to keep reading it, with the cranberry and ginger drink. And I'm just going to fill it halfway, or maybe a little more than halfway. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with my ginger ale and fill up the rest. And then you have yourself a sparkling drink. And then... There you go. Something really nice and simple. Cheers, you guys. So I hope you have a safe and happy new year. I'll see you back in 2021. And I really hope that you enjoyed this content. And if you did, I hope you consider subscribing by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell right next to it so you are reminded every single time I upload. Until then, you guys, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed new year. Stay safe. So if you can, just stay home, enjoy your family, and, you know, ring in the new year with your, your loved ones. See you in 2021. Bye.